If you want to be an HR person of the 21st century, you must understand business and be concerned for the needs of the business viewed through the lens of people. Strategic HR is building partnerships with executives so that the strategy is delivered and comes to life through the people in the organization. Your partnership with the executives is the catalyst for employee engagement and workforce optimization. When you help your employees understand leadership's objectives, you become the kind of leader who breathes life into the work that people are doing so they can see the connection to the big picture. When HR leaders ask me how to be more influential in their company, where the high-level executives begin to seek out their counsel to unite the company and improve productivity, I tell them to do these three things. Number one, get really clear on your own goals and why you're there in that organization. Why did you get into HR in the first place? What difference do you really want to make? How do you and your role impact the organization's goals and outcomes? Once you are clear why you're there, you have a foundation. Rather than being at the affect of day-to-day -day crisis and drama, you have firm ground to stand on and accomplish what you're there to accomplish. Number two, find out the key objectives of the executive team and the business as a whole. Another thing you really wanna know is what keeps your executives up at night? What keeps your CEO up at night? Once you're clear about what drives the business leaders, it's much easier to get into sync with the driving mechanisms at play behind the scenes. When you are, conversations flow and decisions happen faster. You instantly appear more focused and aligned, and trust me, the executives notice. They view you as a strategic partner, teaming up with them to hire, attract, manage and develop the right people to fulfill on the mission of the business. And finally, step three, find a way to communicate that addresses the overall impact of the things that are not working in the organization and how your solutions fix that. You'll be seen as somebody who is about solutions, a provider of solutions who makes balanced business decisions, decisions that impact the health and welfare of the whole business. So to recap, there's three ways to boost your executive presence. One, get clear on your goals and why you're there. Two, get clear on the business goals and the executive goals. And three, find a way to communicate that addresses the overall impact of what's not working and how your solution fixes that. So you can hear there's an element of self-awareness, an element of curiosity, and a beginning with the end in mind for you, for the executives, and for the business.